your baby is now four to six months old. Woo! Woo! Yes! We have a list for what we found to be the most essential items for this age. You made it past the first three months of sleepless nights. Congrats, Mama! Or Dada! The first one to three months can be the hardest and most challenging. While your baby is so cute and adorable, the long days and sleepless nights can be exhausting. If no one told you lately, you are doing an awesome job. Woo! You are an amazing parent. What's up? I'm Liana. And I'm Erin. And we're a, a mom's, mom's best, best friend. The YouTube channel to help make your mom life a little bit easier. If you like what you see today, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and share with a new mom that you know. So your baby is now moving on to the four to six month old stage. This is the phase where your baby really starts to play, explore, move around, roll over, crawl, and talk a lot more, and maybe even start to eat baby food. And as a mom, you will want to be prepared for this stage of your baby's life. We've organized this list into four categories. One, baby proofing. Two, toys. Three, eating. And four, sleeping. This is the time when you will want to start baby proofing your home. Because babies are unpredictable. One day, out of the blue, your baby's going to be rolling over. Then the next, they're going to be army crawling to the kitchen. And then, before you know it, they're going to be sitting up and maybe even crawling. So you're going to want to make your living space safe and fun for your baby. So our first category is baby proofing. You want to protect your baby from the stairs, from falling down, um, from climbing up the stairs and accidentally falling down. So a baby gate is a must have. Absolutely. And this is also really helpful if you have pets or other children or just an area of the house that you want to keep the baby from crawling into. So the next item you're going to want to have is a banister guard. Now this is a cloth or a piece of plastic that goes over the little railing pegs so that your baby doesn't stick their hand or their leg or if it's wide enough their head through and get stuck. You don't want them throwing toys down. Um, it's just another safety precaution if you have like a banister or railing. The next item that we have on our baby proofing list are these electrical outlets. And you plug them in to all the electrical outlets around your house. They're a guard and protector. And you will be surprised how attracted the baby is to your electrical outlets. They want to touch it. They want to put toys in it. And this is good to protect them from getting electrocuted and also just safety, uh, peace of mind, knowing that they can't put anything in them. And they're really cheap. So there are a lot more ways that you're going to need to baby proof, especially as your baby starts to walk and move into a toddler phase. But these three items are what are essential for just the basic uh, phase where your baby is crawling around. And we'll go into other baby proofing methods and um, essentials in future videos. So the second category is toys. So the first item on the list is learning books. These are very perfect for your toddler because they're nice and soft. They also have a sound to them and they're high contrast. And as Liana had told me, babies love high contrast stuff. They can see it more easily. Um, all these books have shapes. This one's vehicles. There's tons out there. So they're perfect for your baby. They're not made of paper, so if your baby chews on it, they're not going to dissolve and then be in your baby's mouth. So it's a very great option for your baby. So another toy item that you're going to want to have is a jumper roo. My baby used it and this was her favorite toy ever. It helps them kind of to stand up on their feet right and has all these toys and lights and music around them and things for them to touch and play with. And so it's something that they love. They love jumping. It gets them all excited. A jumper roo is definitely a must have. The next item on the list is one of these O-ball toys. These are great because the baby can easily grab it with his, his or her fingers and it's super lightweight. It's really flexible and it's a great toy for them to learn their fine motor skills. 
And one of the awesome things about it is it's really cheap. I think it's like $5 or something on Amazon. They have different uh, versions. This is a more complex version of it. But the simple one is just as great. And babies of all ages love it. Um, Aaron's daughter is two years old and she loves to play with it. And so does my baby who is seven months old. So it's very versatile. So the next item on the list is pacifier clips. Whenever you go out somewhere and you only bring like one or two binkies, you don't want your binkies or pacifiers getting lost, dropping on the ground, getting dirty, and then you're gonna be like, oh no, I have to wash this off. You won't have to do that whenever you have a clip to your baby. It easily clips onto their clothing. Or like, your clothing. Or your clothing. And this hooks around the binky. And it's a really great way for your child's pacifier to stay clean. It's also something that they can chew on as well. And because babies love putting everything in their mouth and this might keep them entertained. So the third category is food. Your baby's food. We have this great book. It's called The Big Book of Organic Baby Food. It has lots of recipes throughout it for, a, for babies to toddlers. And so you're not like giving your baby like chicken nuggets and fries every day. This has some really healthy options and creative ways to help feed your kid and keep them nourished. I love this recipe book because as a new mom, there's so much that I don't know about how to feed a baby. For example, did you know that you're not supposed to give your baby honey for the first year? There's lots of unknown things about baby food, and this is a really good quick guide for me to see how much do I feed the baby in the first month of eating, and what kind of consistency, and what foods should I give the baby. So I really recommend this book. Let us know below what baby food you're planning on giving your baby, and Erin and I will make a video of the most popular food item, and we can show you how we make baby food. So after you make the baby food, if that's what you wanna do instead of buying it, um, you're probably not gonna make a one portion baby food. You're gonna make probably a batch of it, and this is a great option for you to have because you can put the portions in this container and then put the lid on and then put it in the freezer. So anytime that you need baby food, it is right there and it's really nice and soft so you can just pop the baby food right out of the container. Let's say you make a big batch of steamed carrots. You can put these, put them in these little jars and it comes with a marker, a washable marker where you can write on it what the food item is and the date that you made it and put it in your fridge. Um, and you can put the freezer pod in this if you would like. It's microwavable or you can um, heat it up on the stove or wherever. And it's a good portion for your baby's baby food. So with your baby food, you're going to need spoons. These are the first spoons that we bought and we like them because the color changes to white when it's too hot for your baby. So it's a great way to know if the food is the right temperature for your baby. And I will link the ones below that we like. The next item on the eating list is bibs. This is a silicon bib. It has a little tray for any food that drips. It's also waterproof, so it's not gonna sink through and get on your baby's clothes. And it's adjustable. These are great because they are super easy to wash. The next item on the list is this baby toothbrush. And as your baby um, starts to get teeth and starts to eat food, it's important to try to keep their teeth clean. Um, you, This one is great because you can just put it on your finger and put it in the baby's mouth and they love to chew on it. They will love the texture. Um, you can also put a little bit of baby toothpaste and you definitely want to talk to your pediatrician about toothpaste and what's best for your baby. But something like this, there's a lot of different methods to keep your baby's teeth clean. This is just one way um, that works for us. So the next category, number four, is sleeping. The first item you'll need is a crib. This is the phase where you can start moving the baby into their own room or if you choose to have the baby in your room with you, it's still important to move the baby from a bassinet into a crib. You can get a mini crib or you can get a full-size crib, 
But as soon as the baby can roll over, it's really important for them to be in a crib because a bassinet can easily tip over. A really great thing to have if you are transitioning your baby into their own room or even just for nap times is a baby monitor. This is a camera that you have focused on the baby and then you can watch it from either your phone or the device that comes with it and you can keep an eye on the baby while they're napping. It's really helpful for us during um, the night because our baby sleeps in his own room and we can keep an eye on him with the baby monitor camera. The next item on the list is a wearable blanket. This, trans this helps transition your baby from being swaddled into pajamas. These are also known as sleep sacks. So if you hear other parents mentioning a sleep sack, this is probably what they're talking about. Um, there's no feet for them to crawl around in, but it still gives them that feeling of security and it's a safe way for the baby to feel swaddled but have more um, like freedom to move a little bit. Our baby was in the sleep sack for a very short time, but he loves to play with his little toes and so we quickly moved into pajamas. So after being swaddled, these are footy pajamas that he liked. Um, which are good because he can still reach his toes, but what he really loves are just a long sleeve onesie and pants where he can really um, play with his toes and move around, especially the more that he's able to roll over and sit up. It's good for him to have the flexibility. Thank you so much for watching. That concludes the list that we have for children four to six months. Comment below if you like what you saw today and let us know what baby food you want Erin and I to make and we will add it to our list. Be sure to share with a mom or dad you know and subscribe. Follow us on social media. We are on all platforms and we really want to know your feedback. Okay, bye. Bye. See you next time. See you next time. <laughs> compiled a list of it. I can like see your face. <laughs> can you see my face? I do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like staring. <laughs> At your face and nothing else. It's like the weirdest thing. <laughs> We've organized this list into four categories. Baby proofing. <laughs> three eating. And four. <laughs> During this spray, proof so it's not gonna leak through and get on your baby's clothes. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, <laughs> that can be bloopers for sure. <laughs> How dare you? And no. <laughs> an arm's best friend. <laughs> a arm's best friend. <laughs>